On the surface, what Turkey did with gold may not sound like such a smart move. But in reality, when we explore exactly what occurred here with Turkey and how it upset the whole apple cart in terms of central bank demand for gold, you'll see why it's a very good thing. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Gold. It has been under demand for millennia from various different sources. In fact, you know, one of the things that we talk about on this channel is central bank gold demand. It is something that has captivated my viewers, and I think it's something that uh, is something we should take into consideration because one thing I've always said is that we should be our own central bank. But we have to look at demand for gold in other areas as well, too. There's only one other area where gold demand is much more important than in central banks. Before I tell you what that is, I'm going to go into an article here from the Gold Hub website that talks about how central bank demand has actually flipped for gold in April. Yeah, it actually flipped. And we've talked about how... Oh, 2022 was a record year for central bank gold buying. And most of the gold that we've been seeing has been moving in one direction, not the other direction. Well, it turns out that April was the first time in over a year that we've seen a reported net decrease in reported gold holdings here. If you enjoy videos like this, I hope you will consider pressing that thumbs up button down below. It does help the algorithm and share this video with others. Let's get into this article and see exactly what they're talking about and see if we can make sense and why this is such a good thing if a central bank decides to sell gold. This may, on the face of it, seem like a remarkable about turn from central banks, which were a source of a very strong gold demand in the first quarter of this year. But the country-level data reveals that far from a sudden wave of central bank selling, the drop in reserves was primarily due to Turkey. Yeah, that's right. Central Bank of Turkey reported a decline in its official gold reserves of 881 tons, reducing its total gold reserves to 491 tons. Uh, Gold Hub's analysis based on published data and in-market conversations indicates that this was a specific response to a local dynamics rather than a change to their long-term gold policy. And that's important, folks. The gold was sold into Turkey's domestic market to satisfy very strong bar, coin, and jewelry demand following a temporary partial ban on gold bullion imports. It remains to be seen if this selling will continue and, if so, at what pace, said their meeting demand of their, of their fellow countrymen here in Turkey. The other notable, albeit smaller, sellers during April were three banks who regularly buy gold from domestic production. And that's just it. People wonder where are these uh, institutions, where are these central banks buying gold? Well, a lot of it comes from um, global mining and and from the uh, from the markets, you know, from uh, you know the international markets, but also from domestic production, especially for hot, heavily gold uh, producing nations like China and Russia. Frequent buying and selling are not uncommon for central banks, which buy gold from domestic sources. For instance, the National Bank in Kazakhstan reduced its official gold reserves by 13 tons to 319 tons, the third consecutive monthly sale in excess of 10 tons. Nonetheless, gold still represents 54% of total Kazakh reserves. The Central Bank of Uzbekistan sold off for the second consecutive month, although substantially lower than in March. Its official gold reserves fell by 2 tons, and during the month to 380 tons. Uh, the National Bank of the Kazakh Republic also sold uh, just over half a ton during the month. Purchases were comparatively smaller in April. Uh, four central banks reported on increase in their gold reserves. The largest purchases came from Poland. The narrow doorway Bank Polski's group gold holdings rose by 15 tons to 243 tons. According to accounting for 9% of total reserves by the end of April. 
and the People's Bank of China continued its recent run of buying. Now, a uh, six consecutive months lifting gold reserves uh, to eight tons by to 2,076 tons, which are 4% of the total reserves. So there's a lot of going round and round in terms of the gold buying that we're seeing. You know, 2,076 tons, that's the official number that China has. What do we have here in the United States? Over 8,100 tons. But you know what we're not seeing here is we're not seeing our central bank sell any of that gold to the people because there's really that not that much demand here in the West. It's ingrained in Turkey's, uh, um, in their culture, and it's part of their understanding that there's a crisis. Now, almost seems like every year or so, uh, with in terms of their currency, there's a currency crisis. That currency crisis is reflective um, on the demand because it's ingrained in their society and in their culture. So, uh, and that's just not the case here in the United States. So there's no selling of the gold from our reserves, and there's no buying any gold in our reserves either. And that tells you something. But I think it's incumbent upon us, the citizens here in the West, specifically here in the United States, to, to understand and value gold and have some to protect yourself, like these Eastern nations do. I think that we should take a cue and, and learn from what they have known for centuries and millennia. Pretty amazing. The Czech National Bank added two tons, and the Central Bank of Mongolia added a ton, and um, there are the other reported buyers. And so, Turkey, something we can learn. It's a very good thing that they recognize it as so ingrained in their society to, yes, indeed, uh, they will buy gold from the Central Bank. So it depletes a little bit of their reserves, but it keeps the country stable. There's something to be said for that. And make no mistake, even though they've sold off so much, uh, April's turkey sales eclipsing all of their activity during that time, leading to a net decrease in net sales of, of uh, 80.8 tons if for the month of April is something that uh, should be taken into account, and it's a very good thing. And, you know, uh, sooner or later, one of these days, um, you know, I think more likely we're going to see probably a growing number of Americans and people in the West wake up to the reality of what gold is. We're already seeing it based off of some surveys, and I think that's remarkable. I hope it's a trend that continues. Now, these type of trends do um, continue during times of economic instability, but I think it would be a good idea for people to recognize, hold on to gold during times of economic sanity and economic stability because gold is the ultimate insurance policy in my view so that's why it's a good time and a good reason to hang on to it through bad times but as well as good times as the lord knows that's exactly what the turks are doing and uh, you you may remember for those of you who've been uh, watching this channel for a number of years i did a video about how turks are storing it under their mattresses because they don't trust their currencies. Yeah, they don't trust their currency. And we don't have that problem here in the United States yet. You know, we trust our currency, but I think it's uh, what makes it uh, all the more special for those Eastern nations it is, is it is a part of their culture. Uh, and so therefore we are heavily dependent on the dollar. The dollar's hegemony is is a uh, is profound here in the United States as well as around the world, um, and, and I really wish that gold would play a larger role, that people would uh, have that sense of value in regards to this metal, recognize that sense of value rather, and that it is something that will protect them during times of economic instability, but also as a store of wealth and value during times of economic stability. I hardly ever talk about that, but I think I should because, you know, it's during the, those times where everything is doing great in the economy that people tend to forget about gold. Um, and in reality, that's where people really should be um, stacking some and holding it back is when the price is lower and when, um, and when uh, people aren't, you know, thinking about it or people really should be thinking about it. Uh, but it's a good time to hold on to it. 
I know that many of us in this community, that's what we do. We, we recognize gold and good times is, is just as much as in bad times. Now, talking about what other central banks are doing, despite the sizable net selling from central banks in April, uh, Gold Hub maintains their expectation for central banks to remain net gold purchasers throughout 2023. Remember, 2022, we saw the biggest increase since 1967, but in March, there was net selling of 2022. So this is just a little blip, and likely, probably it'll go in the other direction. I tend to agree with them. Um, their view is supported by findings from the latest central bank gold reserve survey, which shows that reserve managers remain broadly positive towards gold. It's also worth noting that the Central Bank of Iraq recently announced a 2.5 ton purchase in May, and I think that's very significant too. Um, and uh, so there's where we're at with gold and these nations. In fact, I'd be very curious to see what next month holds for Turkey. If they will try to uh, replenish those losses to the public, if they will indeed uh, start to accumulate more to uh, bring their uh, holdings back up again from what was depleted in April. And so there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. It's always fascinating to see what these nations are doing with gold and why they buy and sell it. Uh, one thing's for sure, uh, I love the fact that these nations are, are doing it and it and gives us a valuable lesson uh, that we should indeed be our own central banks and have that same power by holding gold, such as you see here. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to all of you and each and every one of you, each and every one, singularity, yes indeed, for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, that means press that thumbs up button down below, share it, comment, and subscribe.